hello everyone thank you so much for clicking in it's another online tutorial with jenny concept and in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make this round band lined to band cap which has multiple design and crinoline embellishment attached to it this tutorial was requested for by one of our subscribers and here we are please if you are just joining us for the first time and you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also on the bell icon and if you have done so already thank you so much in today's tutorial the materials used include shiny poly fabric of which you can make use of any other fabric of your choice one yard of fabric will be enough for this design be needing the big size of crinoline one yard we'll also be needing the small size of crinoline which is about three inches for the width and two and a half yards will be enough then you also have your applique your gum your scissors your measuring tape as well as your needle and thread this design which we are working on is divided into three parts first we have the round band to band cap which is going to be lined it has the band and the lined base secondly we have the multi-board design and then thirdly we have the crinoline embellishment which is also going to be taped at the edge with your fabric or your bias tape and then lastly we have the loop fabric which is used to hold down the multiple design and the crinoline embellishment together now before now i've cut out my fabric so during the course of this tutorial we'll get to know the different fabric as well as their measurement that is required but firstly we'll be starting with the tuban base and for the tuban for the tuban base illustration i'll be using a different piece of fabric to illustrate that and as soon as that is done we proceed with how to achieve the design that is attached to it now starting with the tuban cap it's a round band to band cap which is lined so it has the round band and then the base so for my band i have my fabric here the width is 4.5 inches the width from here to here is 4.5 inches while the length is 23 inches so i have 4.5 inches by 23 inches so that by the time i'm done working with the tuban cap after turning it after lining and then turning it inside out i'll be having about 22 inches for the length okay i want it to be tight to be fitted now if you're working with a larger head circumference you may have to increase your length so the length of the hair circumference for this is 23 inches while the width is 4.5 inches and this is the band coming over to the two band base since it's going to be lined we're going to be needing two different pieces of fabric okay and then for my fabric for the measurement the width i'm going to be using 14 inches from this end down to this end i'll be using 14 inches for the width while the length which is the head circumference from this end down to this other end is going to be 23 inches and then always endeavor to have the length which is the head circumference cut across the most stretchy part of the fabric that is the part of the fabric that stretches more should have your length or your head circumference so for my base the measurement is 23 inches by 14 inches cut out twice two different pieces of fabric what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to get the tuban base and then I'll place the first fabric for the tuban base on my working surface this way and I have the fine side facing me while the wrong side is facing the working surface and I'll get the fabric for my band and I'm going to be folding it into two equal halves with the wrong side inside and then I have the fine side outside. And then I'll place at one end of my tuban base this way. Remember, I'm lining it. So I'll get the second fabric for my tuban base and then place the fine side on the fine side of the first piece of fabric so that I have the wrong side facing me. 
and so I'm going to buy it to place it down this way. So this is how it is. And then to continue, I'm going to go over to my sewing machine to sew this. Now when it comes to sewing, I'm going to start sewing from the band. Sew this down. I'm going to sew around the four edges of my fabric. But then while sewing, I'm going to be leaving allowance at one edge to enable me to turn my fabric inside out. So I'll start sewing this way. Sew down, sew down, sew down. Remember to leave a little bit of allowance. As soon as I'm done sewing, I'll turn my fabric inside out and then get back. So right here, I have my fabric already sewn. I've sewn around the four edges. And then I have a little bit of allowance here that I'm going to turn my fabric inside out. So I'm going to go off camera and then go ahead to turn this inside out. And as soon as I'm done, I'll get back. So I've been able to turn my fabric inside out. And I have it this way. Please remember to fold in this open end and then close it and have it stitched and have it sewn down so as to close this open end. Now, as soon as we are done with that, we're going to be folding our fabric into two equal halves this way. Then I'm going to go ahead to place this on my sewing machine and I'm going to be stitching this down in order to form the cap. So I'll start sewing from the band. So I'll sew from the band down to this end and from this end down to this other end. So let me do that. So right here, I have my two band cap. As you can tell, it's just sewing right from the band down to this end, from the band, down to this end and then to this end. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be making the running stitch now to give us that gathers at the back. Now your gathers, your running stitch to form the gathers starts immediately after the band. And I have my needle and thread here already doubled. So I'm flipping my work over this way. And then I'll start passing my needle and thread in and out to make my running stitch until I get to this very end. Then I'll secure my thread and then cut off the excess thread. At this point, I'm done with the two band cap, and then this is how it is. So I'll set this aside while we proceed with the design. Now, coming over to the design, we're going to be starting with the multiple design that is going to be attached to the two band cap. I have my fabric here, and the measurement is 25 inches for the length, and the width is 5.5 inches. And we are to cut this out three times three different pieces of fabric 5.5 inches by 25 inches then i'm going to fold it into two equal halves with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside and then sew from one end to the other whatever i'm doing for this piece of fabric i also have to repeat for the other three pieces of fabric that i've cut out and then at this point i'm done sewing all three pieces of fabric and then this is what i have and this is how it looks like so what i'm going to be doing next is that i'll be using one piece of fabric for illustration i'll go ahead to turn it inside out and then get back after turning my fabric i have it this way and what we are going to be needing next is our crinoline the small size of crinoline which is about three inches wide so i'm going to pass it inside my fabric this way until i get to the other end of the fabric and then I'll cut off this excess fabric and repeat the same thing for the other two pieces of fabric that is left. So this is it now. So I'll be illustrating with this piece of fabric and whatever is done here should be repeated for the others. I'm done fixing my crinoline. And then you can try to iron your fabric with the crinoline inside in order to in order to have it straightened out you can iron your fabric okay and then after doing that we're going to proceed with stitching now when it comes to stitching what i'll be doing is i'll be getting both ends and then placing it down in the middle of the fabric so i'll get both ends as you see me do 
and then place it down place one on each other and then place at the middle of my fabric then i'll go ahead to get my needle and thread and make a running stitch at the middle in order to help me secure it or hold it down in place so i have my needle and thread here and then i'll go ahead with making my running stitch now after doing after working on this particular piece of fabric i will also go back and repeat the same thing for the other two pieces of fabric that is left and as soon as i'm done making my my running stitch across the middle of the fabric and i've secured my needle and thread i'll get back to show us how it looks like okay right here i have three pieces of fabric already sewn and next thing we're going to be doing is that we're going to be coupling it together now it's going to be in two parts one is going to be on its own which is going to be in front and then two is going to be together which is going to be at the back now i'm going to place these two one on each other and then i'm going to get my needle and thread and then tack it down together you can place it anyhow you want but i'm going to be placing in this cross format so i'm going to go ahead to tack down my needle with to tack down the both designs together using my needle and thread and as soon as i'm done with that we'll continue with the design now there's no special technique as to tacking you just tack in a way that is convenient for you so long as your design is secured in place okay i'm done tacking and then this is it so the next this is the other design so this is how it is i'm going to set it aside and the next thing we'll be working on is the crinoline embellishment and for that we'll be needing the big size of crinoline which is about six inches for the width and the length is a yard which is 36 inches now in addition to that we'll also be needing another piece of fabric which is going to be serving as the fabric for the buyer step and then the measurement is 36 inches which is also a yard while the width is 3 inches so we are going to be using that fabric to tape one end of the crinoline and then this is how you do it you bring both ends of the fabric down to the middle so the upper part to the middle and then get the lower part to the middle then you can go ahead to iron it but if you can also work without ironing it, it's okay. Then you go ahead to place your crinoline at the middle of the fabric. And then close one end on each, on each other. So you are closing both ends of the fabric together with the crinoline in the middle. And then you sew from one end of the fabric down to the other end. You can also decide to use your bias tape. You can also decide to weave the edge. Whichever is okay or more convenient for you, you can go with it. But I'll be using this same fabric to tape the edge and then I'll sew from one end to the other and get back to show us how it will look like. I'm done sewing mine and this is it. So I have one end of my crinoline covered with my fabric. It was sewn from one end to the other as explained earlier. Now that is done. The next thing we're going to be doing is creating the design. And to do that, I'll be making use of my needle and thread to make a running stitch from one end of the fabric down to the other end of the fabric. Now, I forgot to state earlier that while you are placing the crinoline in the middle of your fabric that is to be used as bias tape, you can make use of your pins to help you secure it so that sewing it down will be much more easier. Now that that has been said, I will go ahead and keep making my running stitch until I get to the end of the fabric. That is, that is the end of the crinoline itself. And then I will get back for us to continue. So this is it now. I have gotten to the end of my crinoline. So I will pass my needle and thread through that edge and then secure it. So this is how it looks like. So I will arrange it and gather the ends then use my needle and thread to tack it through so as to firmly secure that end so i'll tack it through a couple of times then tie and secure my thread then cut off the excess thread before moving to the next part of the design now having done all that i have my crinoline design this way you can see the ends have been gathered together 
so we're going to be adding it down to our multiple design so i'll get the first the double multiple design place my crinoline on it and then get the single bow design and i'm going to tack down all three together this gives me the full design that is going to be attached to the side of my tuban cap so the double multiple design the crinoline embellishment and the single bow design all joined together i'm going to get my handle and thread and then you tack with your needle and thread please make use of a matching color of thread while tacking so that you think so that should the thread become visible it will not be so obvious and the color will not be so contrasting so i'll go ahead to tack tack in and out from the back to the front in that order i'll tack several times till it is firm and secure before attaching to the cap so as soon as i'm done with this i'll get back for us to continue at this junction i'm done tacking as you can see all three are now joined together as one and this is how it looks like so you can place either side at the front and the other side at the back but then we'll have to cover the middle parts and to do that we'll be using a different piece of fabric which is the loop fabric to cover it up so for the loop fabric I have it cut out already the measurement is seven inches for the length and five inches for the width seven by five inches i'll fold it into two with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside then sew from one end to the other and after sewing i have it this way then i'm going to go ahead to turn my fabric inside out after turning my fabric inside out i have to place the sewn parts I have to place it with the sewn part at the middle so this is it and then i'll get my already made design which i have here and then i'm going to be placing the loop fabric on it and then get both ends of the loop fabric together so as soon as they are together i'm going to place that end on my sewing machine and i'm going to stitch down that part close so let me and then i'm done stitching i also cut off the ss fabric then i'm going to turn this inside out after turning it inside out i'm going to get back now this is my fabric this is my design already i have the sewn part at the back and then this is it so what we're going to be doing next is that we're going to be attaching it down to the tuban cap now i have my tuban cap here can place on any side you want either the right or the left side whichever is okay for you but then to get the right fitting like i'll always say ensure that you have your tuban cap on your dummy head or on your head and then you test and then find out the perfect fitting for it and then as soon as you get it you can use your pins to hold it in place then get it off your dummy head and proceed to tack down to the tuban cap using your thread and your needle so that's what i'm trying to do now when tacking your design down to your tuban cap you have to tack it round both the front and the back of it so that it is secured firmly to it so i'm going to complete this off camera and then get back as soon as it's done for us to continue After stitching the design down to the bank cap, I have it this way. It is now joined together and this is how it is. So the next thing we are going to be doing is that we are going to be embellishing the loop fabric. So you just get your applique, apply your gum on the wrong side and then glue it down on your loop fabric. Now this is optional, okay? And then you can also decide to make use of any applique of your choice. Now I'm going to apply glue on it and then glue it down then come back for us to see how it looks like and then this is it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching please if you have questions kindly let us know in the comment section do well to like to share and also follow us on our social media platforms on facebook and on instagram as jenny concept i hope you got value from this tutorial Thank you so much for watching.